Hi and welcome to Unit 1, Business and the Business Environment. In the next few minutes, I'm going to introduce you to the topics that you will be covering on the course and talk you through the learning outcomes that are addressed in this course and covered in your study materials. This course is intended to give you a broad understanding of business, the purposes of organisations and the different functions within those organisations. We also explore the relationships a business has with its many stakeholders and how these relationships and the wider business environment influence business decision making. This unit provides a great platform from which you can go on to choose an area of business in which you want to specialise. For example, marketing, human resources, finance or business law. Learning outcome one asks us to look at three different aspects of an organisation. We're going to be asked to consider an organisation's type, size and scope. Learning outcome two then focuses our attention on the structure of organisations. So here you need to be able to demonstrate the interrelationships of the various functions within an organisation, like marketing and finance or production and human resources and look at how these link to organisational structure. Learning outcome three focuses our attention on the external, largely uncontrollable forces that can impact on business operations. Here you are required to use contemporary examples to demonstrate both the positive and negative influence or impact the macro environment has on business operations. These factors are usually described using the PESEL model, that is political, economic, social, technological, legal and environmental factors. Learning outcome four combines these macro or external factors identified under learning outcome three with micro or internal considerations. Here you need to be able to Determine the internal strengths and weaknesses of specific businesses and explain their interrelationship with external macro factors. You need to keep in mind here that for the last two learning outcomes in particular, you'll be expected to apply your knowledge to specific situations. Learning outcome three requires you to be able to use contemporary examples and learning outcome four requires you to determine internal strengths and weaknesses of specific businesses. So you need to thoroughly understand the theory, but you need to be able to apply this as well. Finally, it is really important with all your work that you make sure you understand exactly what is being asked of you. Your assignment questions will include task words or command words like discuss or assess or critically evaluate and you need to know the often subtle differences between these words or phrases. You will find a link to a useful document in the study skills area which explains exactly what these different command words mean.